Carbon fiber, the material of tomorrow, they say. But can it replace traditional wooden guitars? How do I turn? Okay, welcome back to another vlog of mine. Just as for your information, this vlog is super unscripted. So bear with me if I go off topic because I'm just saying things that I want to say at that point of time. Before we start... Before we... Wait, uh... Oh well, welcome to my humble room. If you're ever wondering why my video looks so shit, it's because I'm recording this with my phone camera. So yeah, if anyone of you would like to donate a camera to me, I would appreciate that. <laughs> Before we start, as I value your time, I'm going to put timestamps in the description below as per usual so that if you guys think that you want to skip to a certain part of the video that may, might be more useful for you guys, you can. So yeah. So please, please, please really do consider helping my small channel grow by clicking that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. Today we're going to review this beautiful piece of item. The Lava Me Too Carbon Fiber. It's made of a carbon fiber composite and we're going to compare this guitar to a traditional wooden guitar. I try my best to make the comparison as fair as possible as I'll be using the same set of strings, I'll be using the same microphone, but I'll be using a different guitar, so that's probably the only difference. Oh, but no, oh yeah. Actually, the G string of this wooden guitar would be a little bit different because a few weeks ago, I broke this G string and I replaced it with another string that belongs to another guitar. I actually made a video about that, so if you wanna check it out, you can just check it out later. Okay, let's just jump right straight into it. First of all, we're going to discuss on the design of this guitar. This guitar is a unibody carbon fiber guitar so it's made of one solid piece of carbon fiber composite and it has no truss rod like the neck and the body is one yeah that's one downside to it which i will discuss later on in the end of this video so if you want to give me more watch time please watch all the way and give me more watch time and <laughs> help my small channel grow as you can see my channel is still so small also, the sound hole is an oval shape and my friend told me that it looks like an iPhone 11. Well, it actually does because iPhone 11s look like this. And it comes in multiple colors but I chose the black one because that's how a carbon fiber should look like, right? And the color black actually blends in well with many other colors so I chose the color black. Why not white, you may ask? Because whites get dirty easily so... Yeah, I actually tried the white one and I accidentally made it dirty a little bit. So, shh, that's just a secret between you and me. Please don't tell the owner of the shop. If you know where that is, I'm not gonna tell you. Haha! <laughs> okay, one very unique feature about this guitar is these three buttons over here, which they call is the free boost system. So, what it is is basically built in effects. Um. I'm going to demonstrate how this works later on. In brief, you can use chorus, delay, and the reverb effect without having to plug this into an amp or any pedal. Like it's built in, you can just turn it on and play straight away and the effects will be there. It's super mind blowing I promise you. Stick around to that part and you'll be amazed. One thing that's cute about this guitar is also it's travel size, it's super portable and you can bring it anywhere. And when you buy this guitar, it's co it comes with this beautiful hard case. Ta-da! That is really really well made I can say. It's like molded into the shape of this guitar and the guitar sits into this case really really well and the design aesthetic to it is actually really good. I really like this minimalistic design. So you can take this to the plane and fly with your guitar around the world. Hey! And that's what I actually did when I flew to Bali last time. But I don't want to name any airline names in this video but this particular airline, let's just call it A Asia. This A Asia, I told them to put a fragile sticker on my guitar already, and when it came back to me in Bali, it was damaged. Can you see that? I was so sad. But yeah, I complained to them and they gave me like twenty dollars for compensation, which is. Meh, but oh well. What is done is done. Price-wise, this guitar is really really well priced. 
compared to other carbon fiber guitars. And also it comes with a really really good pickup. Like when you plug this in, you have either two options. You can use the mic pickup or you can also choose to use the piezo pickup which is like your normal piezo pickup. Hey, <laughs> what am I explaining? And the cool thing about this is you can also even blend in between like how much piezo and how much mic sound you want. So you can achieve that perfect blend that you want when you're plugging this guitar in. We'll review that sound that I just said later too. So please stick around. Moving on to the sound of this guitar. How does this carbon fiber guitar sound compared to a traditional wooden guitar you might ask? That's a long question. Let me just show you right now. This is the raw sound of this guitar without any effects being used. Just the raw sound of this guitar being projected onto this microphone. Okay, to be honest, I like the wooden guitar sound much better and it has a much better projection according to me but it actually makes sense because the wooden guitar is a larger size guitar so it has more room for the sound to resonate compared to this miniature carbon fiber guitar but I think for a guitar that is this small, this portable and this lightweight this small guitar can also project a really huge sound which is quite mind-blowing considering the size of this miniature thing so now let's listen to how this would sound like when it's plugged in. So yeah, that's how the Lava Me pickup compares to a normal guitar pickup. I forgot what model that is, but I'll find it out. So now I'm going to show you the sound of this guitar with the built-in effects without it being plugged in. From now on, the comparison you'll be hearing will only be coming from the microphone. So I'm not going to plug this to anything or that to anything. So their free boost systems come with two main settings. One is the reverb knob and one is the effects knob. And the third knob is just the volume knob to control the volume of the effects you're using. For the effects knob, you can switch between two main effects which are the chorus effect and the delay effect. So first, I'm going to show you how the reverb alone would sound like. I'm going to turn everything up to 11, so just to show you guys how it sounds like. With the effects on, I really like the Lava Me 2 much better. But just now, I was using too much reverb because I was just emphasizing on how it would sound like to you guys. So now I'm going to show you the chorus effect. I'm going to max out everything again just to emphasize on how the chorus effect sounds like. So this is how the chorus effect sounds like with the reverb on. Mm. Mm. Tiger! This is my dog, by the way. <laughs> As you can see just now, this carbon fiber material is super strong that my dog scratches doesn't really leave a mark. It actually does leave a mark, but once you wipe it off, it'll disappear. So yeah, carbon fiber, guys.
yeah, there you go, the chorus and the reverb effect done at once. Next, I'll be showing you the delay effect. To switch from the chorus to the delay effect, you just need to switch the switch. You hear that? You hear that switch? Yeah, you just need to switch the switch and you're ready to go. And to set the tempo of your delay, you can adjust it with the effects knob. You can make it fast. Or you can make it super long. This is the longest it can go. Because you can manually adjust the tempo of the delay, you can actually experiment with different tempos and come up with something like this. So here's how the delay effect sounds like. Okay, that's it for the comparison, and now let's move on to the overview of what I think about this guitar. I've jotted down some pros and cons for this guitar on this small book. So what I like about this guitar is that it's small, so it's really portable, which I just said, ju which I just said just now. Uh, and one thing that is unique about this is it's made of carbon fiber, as you all know. Carbon fiber has unique properties, one of which is that it's resilient to temperature and humidity changes. So like as you all know, if you are a guitarist, you would know that the sound of wooden guitars can change based on temperature and humidity. But this carbon fiber guitar will have the same sound until, you, until the day you die. Also, I actually like the design aesthetic of this thing. It's really unique, it looks like an iPhone, but yeah, it's really futuristic and it sets you apart from other guitarists, that's what I feel. Uh. But many of my friends think that this guitar looks very weird and lame. So yeah, it's just personal preference. The other thing I like about this guitar is you don't need to plug it into an amp to have beautiful effects. Like the chorus, the delay, and the reverb effect that I use a lot when I play this guitar. But there are downsides to this- Oh shit! <laughs> But there are downsides to this guitar too. Like when it's not using any effects, right? It sounds rather artificial. I don't know how to say it, but it sounds... I don't know how to describe it in words, but yeah, you heard how it sounded like just now. So if you can help me describe it, you can describe it down on the comments down below. And one thing that I have a problem with is it has no truss rod. So I cannot adjust the neck. Personally, I like using the... 0.11 gauge strings but I can't really use that because this guitar is meant for 0.12 gauge strings so when you use lighter strings the lighter tension of the lighter strings creates a buzzing sound that is quite unpleasant and annoying at times and you can't really fix it because it's a unibody guitar with no truss rod and it's made of carbon fibers it would be really really difficult for you to bend the neck inwards or outwards but you can actually do this <laughs> One thing I find quite annoying when I first started playing this guitar is also the weird positioning of the sound hole. As I play fingerstyle as well, I sometimes I really need to get this percussive sounds. These sounds. Well, usually when I play those kind of techniques on my wooden guitar, I usually do the kick drum here. But then now it's the sound hole so you can't really do it there. You have to like bring your hand backwards and do it here instead. Which is quite annoying and because it's dented here right, if you slip your thumb and you accident accidentally do it here, it can be rather painful. So if you're a fingerstyle guitarist that uses those kind of techniques, um, that's one thing you might consider before buying this guitar. Another thing is the markings on this side of the guitar, the frets, the fretboard markings. Because of the way I play my guitar, I use my thumb a lot. Um, the markings that were printed on this guitar, you know the markings, the 12th fret, the 9th fret, the 7th fret, the 5th fret, 
those kind of markings it fades away really really quickly because it was like printed on the guitar and as my thumb rubs against it 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 just disappears so what I do to keep the markings on is that I use correction fluids and made my own marks one major downside about this guitar that I have I don't know if other guitars have this kind of problem as well but this is just my problem I think if you have this guitar please do comment down below if you face this problem as well the problem is that when you use all your effects right and you make a sound using your guitar let's just say this sound I have this Can you hear this? It has this ringing sound that has no end to it which can be really really annoying so I actually emailed Lava and complained to them about this issue and they sent me this like a replacement L2 pickup and the free boost system which I can install on my own and hopefully solve the problem I don't know if this will solve the problem or not but one day I might switch my pickup with this when I have the time and I can possibly make a video of it too if you want to see how it's done you can just subscribe to my channel and, and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you want to see more contents you can check my Instagram and my TikTok account I'll link that down in the description if you found this video helpful please really do consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that when my next video is uploaded you guys can get notified and watch it as soon as possible and help support me hi <laughs> that was a long vlog so that's it for today hope you have a good day and ciao